Prenatal testing is uh, just a part of routine antenatal testing. There's a lot of tests you can do prenatally. There's blood tests, there's ultrasounds. Um, it's all about getting information to improve the pregnancy outcome. And improving the pregnancy outcome might mean doing something that we can do either physically or giving medication, sometimes surgically. Um, but also it's important that we can improve the pregnancy outcome by providing information for parents and helping them navigate the journey of the pregnancy, particularly if there are problems that arise. Accuracy is, is all important when we're doing a test, any test in pregnancy, we want it to be as accurate as possible. And timing those tests appropriately is inherent to the test's performance. With some screening tests, there may, there may be a high risk for a certain condition, but sometimes there are other underlying problems that can also cause that high risk result. The diagnostic test helps sort that dilemma out. So first of all, it will either rule in or rule out the condition that the patient was high risk for on the screening test. And in addition, other interventions or investigations might be put into play um, for other risks. An example of that might be for measuring very low PAPA levels in pregnancy. Whilst that is part of the screening test for, for chromosome abnormalities, it's also a marker for other pregnancy complications like preeclampsia and growth problems in the baby. And so knowledge of that information means that we can institute um, monitoring ultrasound and we can make sure that the woman is in a, a high risk model of care rather than in a low risk model of care. The prenatal um, screening and diagnosis that is uh, commonly practised uh, in across the community in, in pregnancy um, should come with some good counselling and we've developed some um, brochures that provide that information to assist uh, doctors uh, in talking about these tests with their patients. Not all patients will choose to have screening tests and not all patients will choose to have diagnostic tests even if they are high risk on the screening. So um, we offer a counselling service and we offer a prenatal diagnostic testing service um, to be able to provide uh, accurate uh, information with comprehensive counselling. If those results are positive, we provide support and information about what that means. And, um, and we also involve our neonatal colleagues um, to provide further information about what um, these conditions mean for not only the pregnancy, um, but after the baby's born. If we make a diagnosis of a serious problem affecting the fetus, the unborn baby, in the antenatal period, we have a multidisciplinary team that provides support for the family. So uh, first of all, we'll uh, sit down with the family and discuss the findings of the results and make it very clear to them exactly what the situation is. So first of all, information and making sure that information is imparted um, you know, very clearly without judgment. Um, sometimes we need to have interpreters if, to assist if there are language, other languages, etc. There are sometimes cultural um, uh, issues that we have to um, uh, recognise. Um, but by and large, information um, is the first step in making sure that information is understood. That can be very shocking, of course, um, for some parents to, to discover that their baby has a, a serious condition um, where the baby's life might be in danger. Um, we, uh, of course, will support the family f through the pregnancy. Some families um, make the difficult decision not to continue the pregnancy. Um, we offer an alternative um, whereby we feel that um, the family can be supported. Um, the baby's outcome may not be um, what was planned for, but we feel that that precious time that the parents can have whilst the baby is in, in utero, and sometimes for um, an undefined period after the baby's born, is a very precious period, a very important period sometimes, to have some bonding, some contact with their child, even if the prognosis is extremely poor. These pregnancies um, should be treated as high-risk pregnancies because sometimes we can improve the outcome. If the baby has a, uh, a condition that um, it might survive, we might be able to, through the timing and maybe altered the mode of delivery, we might be able to deliver it 
um, to improve its chances of survival and, um, and offer treatment after it's born. Um, some conditions we can offer treatment before the baby's born and uh, we're the largest centre in uh, Australasia offering uh, fetal surgery for um, various conditions. For chromosome abnormalities, we can't change um, the diagnosis, but certainly we can sometimes improve the outlook for babies. It might be necessary to modify uh, care in such a way that we provide more monitoring for the mother and for the uh, developing baby with ultrasound. Sometimes more uh, blood tests are required through the pregnancy, sometimes um, heart rate monitoring, um, but everything um, has to be individualised according to those circumstances.